Here are five trading FX that every After Effects user should know. And these are FX that will definitely be useful in your creative arsenal. So if you're ready to level up your skills, let's get to it. One of today's effects is the transparency effect. Lately, I've been seeing it more and more in Hyatt projects. To make this effect easier, we need the footage with a static background so we can generate the missing part. Select the Roto Brush tool and cut out the object. Then duplicate the layer and click the invert background. Now we can freeze the frame on both layers. This gives us one layer with just the object and one with just the background. Select the background layer, go to Content Aware Fill and adjust the settings. I recommend increasing alpha expansion to avoid weird edges. Click Generate, wait a bit and now we have a clean background. Create a pre-composition at Displacement Map effect. Here we select our layer with the object. FX and masks, set horizontal displays to luminance and the same for the vertical displays. Check this box and tweak the values. That's the whole effect. The next effect is time displacement, which is also super popular right now. Create a new solid layer and add a gradient ramp. Turn off this layer and add the time displacement to your footage. Select the gradient map, FX and masks, set FPS to 120, and that's it. You can experiment with the gradient to get different distortions. This is a super creative effect just like my creative transition templates, which helps make any project stand out. They are easy to use, work in After Effects and Premiere Pro, and you can find the link in the description. The third effect is wave distortion. To create it, make a new solid layer and add a rectangle mask. Now animate the appearance using mask expansion. Set the first keyframe and then a second one 10 frames later for full expansion. Duplicate the mask, set it to intercept and click invert. Offset the keyframes by one frame and on the first keyframe adjust the value until you get a donut shape. Play around with mask further. Then select all keyframes and hit F9. Next, create a new adjustment layer at Displacement Map Effect. Select the solid layer, choose Mask, set both displaced values to luminance, increase the values until the distortion is visible, then turn off the solid layer. Duplicate the keyframes and that's it, the effect is ready. The next one is the stylish glitch block effect and it's super easy to make. Add motion tile to your footage, set output width and height to 200 and enable mirror edges. Then add CC griller effect, set horizontal scale to 150, vertical scale to 130. Uncheck cut tiles. Hold alt to click on tile size, then enter this wiggle expression. Add posterize time and set it to 12 fps, and the effect is done. The last effect for today is the trending echo trail. To make it, duplicate the layer and cut out the object using the Roto Brush tool. Then create a pre-composition and move all attributes to the new comp. Now start adding effects. First, pixel motion blue. Set shutter angle to 500 and shutter samples to 20. Then add echo effect, set count to 20, decay to 0.8, and set composite in black. The last effect is deep glow or just a regular glow, adjust it to your liking. If you want the echo behind the object, just copy the object layer and place it on top. That's it, the last effect is ready. If you want more editing tips, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching and happy creating!